Hey guys, it's Fan Service Renji. I almost died a couple days ago and I wanted to share the story with all of you. It was Thursday morning, I was going to work. I was leaving downtown Los Angeles and getting on the freeway. It was about 5.30 in the morning, so traffic was pretty mild. Everything seemed normal. And then all of a sudden, this SUV in the elevated merging lane starts to lose control at high speed. I see it sliding into the margin and it flies into my lane. Now remember, I said elevated lane, so it's slightly higher than mine. So as it flew out of its lane, it was already catching air. The truck flies through the air, already turning sideways. And when it lands, it bounces and then starts to roll. It hits the wall and comes sliding back towards me. Since that truck is already flying through the air, it would have hit me on my driver's side door where the window is. I could have easily been pinned against that wall crumpled up in my car. Fortunately, I was able to react quick enough so I could brake and avoid the initial contact, but I couldn't stay stopped for long because the cars behind me would have rear-ended me and the truck would have slid back into me. So when enough room opened up, I quickly maneuvered around the front of the crashed truck. The car behind me wasn't so lucky though, he didn't have enough time to react and he ended up hitting the truck as it was already upside down. It just seemed so surreal when it was happening. I saw the SUV flying over me in slow motion and I watched it hit and roll and I saw the metal fly out and the dust and debris and I just can't get over it. As for me physically, I'm 100%. Nothing happened to me, nothing happened to my car, but as for me mentally, not so much. All this is still processing in my head. Like that image of that truck being so close to me and flying through the air just keeps replaying over and over and over in my head. I can't stop thinking about that truck being crumpled up and the people inside and then the other car hitting it. It was such a horrific sight that's just embedded in my brain now. I could have really died on Thursday and that's so hard to process right now. How can one accept that it could have been over just like that. That quick second made the difference between me here in my bedroom or me buried under the ground or being scraped off the highway right now. It's just really scary to think back about that. What if I left home a second earlier? What if I was driving just a little bit faster? That one second difference would have put me in the wrong place at the wrong time. That truck would have hit me without me even seeing it. I've been in car accidents before. I've even been rear-ended by a semi-truck. But this is the incident that has me terrified. It's just one of those moments that really makes me appreciate all the little things in life. I'm grateful for all the love and support that you guys out there give me. I wouldn't be fan service Renji without you guys, so I just, just wanna thank you if I don't thank you guys enough. I wanna thank you for being there for me and keeping me motivated and inspired to keep going and following my dreams. And this is also just a scary reminder of you can never be too careful when you're on the road. It doesn't matter how good of a driver you are or if you're the best driver in the world, that still doesn't mean someone else can't mess up. But anyways, I don't want to get into lecturing you guys about driving while distracted. You know, we've all seen the PSAs about don't text and drive, don't be on the phone and drive, and you, know, you guys know all that. Just make sure you always stay focused when you're driving. All it takes is that split second that one mistake and multiple lives can be over. And lastly, please make the most out of your life and live to the fullest. You never know how long or short it's gonna be. All these petty squabbles and drama you have, just let it go. There's more important things to focus on. Spend your time being happy, not being angry or upset or spending your time arguing with someone over something that's not gonna even matter a week from now. If there's something you've been wanting to do, a certain girl or a guy you've been wanting to talk to, now's the time to get the ball rolling. You don't have to know exactly what to do, but just start working towards it. As long as you keep moving forward, eventually you'll get to where you're trying to get. I personally feel I've been given a second chance at life, so I'm not gonna waste it. I hope you don't either. I'm Fan Service Renji. Be safe and take care of yourself.